time for Tuesday's hour number two with Korean on me on hashtag Daily K with your host Peter Bin. If you're into Korea, then surely you have a favorite one of these. Learning Korean through famous lines from K dramas, movies, and even songs on Welcome to Korea with Korean on me. We got Silvana on board from Brazil. Shivam Sharma saying, Where are you guys from? Yanet saying, I'm from Mexico. Korean on Nimun So Hyun is from Korea, Seoul, <laughs> very close by. Family from Jeju. Right. Do you know sometimes uh, people think I am from Jeju? Like, because I used to. Uh, post vlogs and sure. stuff like that. So, I can see how people could get confused by that. And your father is from Jeju, right? right? Yeah. So, like, they tell me, oh, how's your life in Seoul? <laughs> <laughs> I've lived my entire life here. Have you here. adapted well to city <laughs> life in Seoul? That's not the case. She's a Seoul light. Uh, we got to get to today's Korean language learning, I suppose. Last week we were doing songs, but today we've got a much more upbeat drama though, mm-hmm. I think. So we'll look at the we phrases do. first before we do our acting. Okay. Okay, the first phrase is 그래야 네가 떼돈을 벌지 그래야 네가 떼돈을 벌지 Right, so this would mean uh, that will make you like super rich or earn t- tons of money. That will make you, to doing that will make you mm-hmm. earn loads of money or make you tons of money. Right. Uh, we're just going through little kind of uh, summaries of the meaning. We get into the details later on. So just stick with us. Part two or sentence two, sorry. 너 가수 중에 태윤 제일 좋아하잖아. 너 가수 중에 태윤 제일 좋아하잖아. Right, this would mean uh, Taeyun is your favorite singer among all. Yeah, among all the singers, among Taeyun the singers. is your favorite. I'm guessing this is a fictional singer in the drama, perhaps. Right. And then third and final sentence. 좋은 정도가 아니라 완전 대박이지. <laughs> 좋은 정도가 아니라 완전 대박이지. Right. Uh, and this would mean it's not just good, it's awesome, something like that. Mm, it's not just good. This is r- amazing. Awesome. R- amazing. Wonderful. <laughs> I don't know what word I was going to go for there, but probably not family friendly. Stacy <laughs> is suggesting let Peter be a guy today. You don't want me to be a girl. Aw, <laughs> Stacy, what's wrong with my female voice? It's lovely. All right, I will be the guy because luckily we've got one guy and one girl in the scene. We do. Let's set it up. You can also guess the drama, the drama or movie that we're mm. going to react out. All right, so in this scene, Eunsu is the girl that I'm going to play, and she dreamt of becoming a lyricist. Lyricist? How mm-hmm. do I say lyricist? lyricist yeah. And finally, she now has a, an official song that is released that she wrote, Ooh. and her male friend, who is Peter, is going to play Eunsu, is congratulating her. Yes, yeah, so you're, you're playing Eunsu, played by Han Soi, and I'm playing Sonu, I believe, by Park Hyung Shik in the drama, right? And and uh, yeah, this is an interesting scene uh, celebrating that fact that she's got a song out that has her lyrics. I'm just thinking, just mm. random thought. Do people, I don't, is it just me? I don't really listen to the lyrics. Like, I just <laughs> listen to the whole feel of the song and I rarely see. take note of the lyrics. Sorry, mm. Unsu, if those are important. <laughs> Did lyricists get paid a lot, I wonder? I, I don't know about uh, being paid a lot, but I think also how people listen to songs really differs. Mm. I think I'm the uh, one who actually pays more careful to ah, lyrics rather really? than just the songs. So I want, that's why I don't like loud songs because then I can't really listen oh, to them. Oh, that's really lyrics. interesting. Like the lyrics of the song could be talking about peanut butter jelly sandwiches. I wouldn't know. <laughs> like, I would have no idea as long as the melody. There's good. a famous uh, song where it keeps says, I'm a gummy bear, I'm a gummy bear. Do you know that? I love that song. song. Okay. One of my favorites. <laughs> Very deep and meaningful. Uh, let's get to the acting. And we do it all in English, apart from the three sentences we want you to practice as well. Send in your audio clips for that. I'll let you know how after this. Lyrics by E Eun Su. How does it feel to finally debut as an official lyricist? 
Ah, it's a very beautiful night. I cannot believe I'm a lyricist. Hey, can't we set this to play all day long? I want to keep listening. <laughs> Do you like it that much? 그래야 네가 떼돈을 벌지. <gasps> That's a great idea. Of course, of course. Hmm, I have set a goal. Oh, what? Taeyun. 너 가수 중에 태윤 제일 좋아하잖아. I'll write lyrics for their song. Then wouldn't it be nice to listen to it all day? <웃음> 좋은 정도가 아니라 완전 대박이지. Right? Good. Next target is Taeyun. Please help me. <웃음> That's why Han so and Park hyung shit get paid a lot of money. Because it didn't feel that cheesy when we were watching it. But when we were doing it, I don't know. I didn't even want to listen to it. I wanted to take my own headphones out. <laughs> Apologies, guys. We always do our best with the acting, though. Uh, lots of guesses coming up. Jake saying, though, lyricists will get half of the writer's credit, including for film and video game scores. Uh, mm. So I guess it really depends on how popular the song is. How much money the lyricists take home as well? Right, I can get how uh, lyricists um, paid well, or not even paid, but get recognition because mm. um, for some songs, when I listen to the lyrics or read the lyrics, I feel like, wow, this is brilliant. How can they think of this? Uh, mm -hmm. so, I mean, I know some songs are just like, I'm a gummy bear, I'm a stupid gummy bear, <laughs> but some some lyrics are really brilliant uh, that we can. We can say they are modern day poets. Absolutely. That's what poetry has morphed into. Of course, there's still just general poetry, but mm -hmm. now we've got music to poetry. That's songs, isn't it? Uh, send in your voice clips. We've written up the uh, three lines in English and Korean, Romanize them. So if you can't read Hangul, don't worry. Add us on Kakao Talk. Our username is Daily K, and you could win Korean on these ebook as well. We've got a fun pop quiz or bogey quiz, as we like to call it. Bogey meaning options. So, Unsu has had this uh, song released, the first one that she's done. But Unsu also has some lyrics that didn't, uh, weren't liked by a producer, I believe. And then Sonu is saying, "Have you tried this?" And uh, as a kind of, I think, topic for some lyrics. So, what are the options here? It's not in our role play as usual, so it's a bit tough, right? Hmm. So, option number one and number two are All right. up here. So, this is um, not in the script that no. we played. No. The options are number one, um, proposing your love, and number two is. Saran, I would say, like ha having a crush by herself. A one-sided love, if One you want to be poetic, <laughs> yes. But yeah, just having a crush on somebody. Welcome to Arirang Radio. We're back for part two. Welcome to Korea with Korean Unni Moon So Hyun in the studio, teaching you Korean through a drama or a movie. And uh, I think we had a lot of people guessing the drama even before we started acting, just by saying the character names of Unsu and Sonu and Han So Hee. We talked about Han So Hee just randomly on the show the other day because mm. she. I don't know, did you hear this story? She was pictured wearing some really nice looking jewellery. Mm -hmm. So, you know, then the netizens try and find out where that jewellery is mm. from. Um, we do have some guesses for soundtrack number one from Siska, I see, and Aimlita, and My Doggy Lives, and Benny have all gone for that soundtrack, and then the hashtag for the number one. Is that correct for today's drama? You guys drama? are correct. Today's drama's name, soundtrack, hashtag number one, and in Korean, it's soundtrack <laughs> number one, and it was Produ not pr published through Disney Plus. Oh wow! And really? it's a pretty recent drama that was aired from 2022 March until April. So pretty Ooh. recent. Actually, it is already May. What am I talking? It about? is already May, but it's just finished a couple of weeks back. Yeah, soundtrack number one. I didn't hear much buzz about this. I've got that service. I've mm -hmm. got to say that service. They've got some great content, but I don't know how good they are at getting mm -hmm. it out to the masses, right. <laughs> right, marketing and stuff. But this was quite a popular one, and. 
uh, the story revolves around these two characters then, Sonu and Unsu. Right. So uh, Sonu, he's a he's a rookie photographer. He doesn't really talk much, but he he's real he's friends with Unsu, and Unsu works as a lyricist to make living. Uh, so it's about they're their friends, but for twenty years. The for twenty years, but they happen to live together, and then oh. you start to uh, their relationship starts developing romantically. Ah, I see. They come to live together for a couple of weeks, and then bang, bang, bang. That sounds like the f- the uh, storyline from My Best Friend's Wedding. I think you might be too young to have seen that with Ju- <laughs> Julia Roberts. And she's best friends with this guy mm-hmm. for like her whole life, mm. and then he says he's getting married, and she's like, "What? You can't get married." And oh, then she kind of feels I like, see. "I want to marry you." And then, spoiler alert, but it's huh. like twenty years old, so it's okay. <laughs> she realizes, okay, that was just some random jealousy. Uh, you okay. should get married to that person. Right. Blah blah blah. Makes sense. Understandable. Yeah, human emotions mm-hmm. and whatnot feel like your best friends being taken away. <laughs> Let's get to your voice clips and our language teaching here. We have on board first uh, Faz Benchmark from Malaysia. You've said this is sentence number two, I believe. Here goes. No kasu jong e te yun jae yul jo ha jana. No kasu jong e te yun jae yul jo ha jana. I thought you said like pe yun jae, but it was. <laughs> Taeyun Chil Chuajana. Right. Taeyun is this fictional singer. Fictional right? singer. Okay, so that we don't need to learn. That's just a name. Mm-hmm. Uh, good pronunciation from first. It was very good pronunciation. Let's start with Taeyun Chuajana because we do use that a lot uh, uh, in our daily conversations. Okay. Chuahada means to like something, and if you say Taeyun Chuahada means you like it the best, you like you like it the most. I remember that word Chil from Chil Chalnaga. Uh, Twenty one song. Twenty one song. Mega Jail Naga. I'm the best, but not quite that. Because Chegoya is best. Jail Jal Naga literally means like I don't know. You're you're very successful. You're doing very well in life. Yeah, right? it's a little difficult to translate mm, it uh, a little directly. But Jail Chua Hazana anyways means uh like like you the most. Like you the most. And and this ending the Hajana is when you're saying something you believe is true, right? Mm-hmm. So. You like them the most, right? Isn't it? Or like yeah. right kind of right. meaning? Okay, chil joahe. You're right. That phrase chil joahada, chil joahe, is used so much in Korean. Right? right. Or you can say it in the opposite way, like chil shiro jana. Ah, chil shiro. Dislike <laughs> the most. Sounds negative, but still, <laughs> some people say that. Do you know, I I want to stop that kind of thing though, because with kids, you're always asking them, "Nugu chil joa, bo chil joa." What do you like the most? Who do you like the most? Mm-hmm. I feel those questions are kind of meaningless, right? And they're always changing right. their points of view. But what what kind of questions do you ask? I try and ask like about their experience, like what did you do? What did you like about mm. that? What did you hate about? Say, what do you like the most? Even as an adult, what did, what food do you like the most? That always changes. Like, mm-hmm. what's, anyway, I'm getting. Too philosophical. Let's get back to language. Back to language. I like you being philosophical. Because we're we going to have to have a separate philosophy corner on Daily K. We do. Okay. Siska's clip, sentence two as well here, I believe. All right. One more time. That, that was really nice. But I, if I want you to be more perfect, mm-hmm. be perfect, then I would uh, advise you to have a space between no and kasu because right now it kind of sounded like no kasu jungye. So uh, yeah. it was a little difficult to figure out the meaning. So no kasu jungye, taeyun jae yul jana. Absolutely. That was exactly what I felt as well, Cisco. It's all right pronunciation, but you just need some spaces in between certain words. And in Korean, that can be difficult because the way you write it, there's a space between kasu and chunge, but you wouldn't say no kasu chunge. <laughs> kasu chunge can go right. together, but no separately. Right. Okay. So kasu chunge uh, means out of all the singers, blah blah chunge so, like umsik chunge so, out of all the food, what do you like the most? DJ Arirang DJ Chung is all who oh, do you like them? <laughs> you know the right answer, guys. There's only one correct answer on Daily K. Uh, so you just said it there as well. Chung is all. And mm-hmm. I would usually say that, but in this sentence it's just Kasu Chunge. Is right. that okay to leave the saw? So? Is that like a big meaning or grammatically? Uh, not really. It's no. just omitting it. Okay. Um so you can still say Kasu Chunge or Kasu Chunge Sa, they mean the same thing. You can do whatever your style dictates. No 
Oh, just meaning you. Kasu meaning singer, mm-hmm. right? Okie dokie. Uh, let's get to another clip here. We have a m l i t a Why don't we play your number two first? Here goes. One more time from the very beginning. No, Kasu Jung e Taeyun Kil j o a h a j a n a That was good. And then sentence three as well, you've really sent nice. in. That was really nice. That was really nice. That was really nice. That was really nice. Oh, wow. I love your intonation, your pronunciation. Everything was perfect, except if I had to say one thing. Mm-hmm. You pronounce it as 좋은 정도가 아니라, uh, which uh. is perfectly understandable because it is written like 좋은. Yeah. But uh, when we write 좋다 or 좋은, we don't really pronounce the h e a t below over here. So we just say 좋은. Pretty much silent, right? Mm-hmm. 좋은, 좋은, mm-hmm. 좋은 정도가 아니라. Right. Okay. Good like when stuff. I say I like you, um, it is written as c h u h a h e but you don't really <laughs> say c h u h a h e You say c h u a h e c h u a h e c h u a h e That's a great tip, even for m l i t o who's pretty advanced in Korean learning. Uh, that was really good. So in that case, the c h o n c h o n g d o Why don't we look at that before the the song break? c h o n c h o n g d o When we're talking about c h o n g d o s what does that mean? Right, c h o n g d o literally would mean like extent of uh-huh. something. So, c h o n c h o n g d o ka anira. So here it is saying it's not just c h o n c h o n g d o It's not even the extent of being good. But, and then blah, 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 which uh-huh. comes later. Okay, that's a good p- pattern mm-hmm. to learn, I suppose, when you say, yeah. it's not this, it's not just to this extent, it's to that extent. 좋은 정도가 아니라, it's not just liking something. Right, so you can say it in the opposite way, like, it's not even bad, it's like the... The worst thing ever that has happened to my life. You can say, That's a lovely sentence, isn't it? Cheer us all up. But that's realistic. You will need to say that in life at one point. Mm -hmm. Uh, Let's get to the bogey quiz question one more time. So in terms of songwriting, Unsu's been very successful here with her lyrics, getting them released. But uh, Sonu gives some advice to Unsu about Why don't you write about this, right? Why don't you make some lyrics to do with this? What are the bogey options? The bogey option, the bogey options. I don't think it's um, Unsu saying it though. Sonu, Sonu, Sonu saying, saying, saying it. Unsu, I think right? it was producer. So it's not uh, in the script, but pro- oh. when when Unsu uh, wrote the lyrics and show, showed this, showed it to the producer. The producer asked her if you've done any of these two. Oh, I see. So, like, have you got any experience in mm-hmm. these? Because these lyrics don't really sound great, or I don't really like these. Maybe lyrics kind of that's what happened. Okay. So what are the options then? Number one, uh, proposing your love. And number two, one-sided love. Oh, and remember <laughs> what we said about this storyline about these two friends who are kind of, mm, some, I guess you could say in Korean. Uh, I, I think I know the right answer as well. If you are in Jeju. 88.7 in Jeju City. 88.1 in s e o g i p u City. 101.9 in the Daejeong area. Arirang r a d i o Uh, lots of you getting in touch. If anyone wants Korean on his ebook or hasn't received it yet, do let us know as well. We'll pick out a winner at the end. The drama is soundtrack number one. And we've got some clips here from... Uh, oh, Alex was giving us some of his playlists, but I've also got the voice clips. Let's go for sentence number three, I think. Here it goes. <laughs> Wow, 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 Meaning amazing. Amazing. Awesome, awesome. right? And EG, t e b a g i j i is just the ending here. It doesn't mean anything different, right? Not really. If you're saying something, something EG or G, you're again kind of 
getting agreement from the other person, right? You're saying, it's amazing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Kind of thing, Just right? Just ending uh, with uh, like a conversational tone. Mm-hmm. 완전 대박이지. Yeah, don't be using this to your boss or anything. You'd have to say, in that case, 완전 대박입니다. <laughs> I know. Look at all the uh, reactions from um, Dong Dong Squad and our listeners saying, oh, wow, Alex, your pronunciation is so good. So 대박. Siska has used the word in the sentence there as She well. Did. Alex is 대박 indeed. Tim Penrod saying, sounds like a native speaker, Alex. <laughs> a native Korean speaker of Germany is what Alex is in Korean. It's amazing. <laughs> and let's try your sentence, I think, number one here, Hartley. <laughs> ah, 그래야 네가 때 돈을 벌지. Sounded a little different from you there, Korean on me. <laughs> I think it said 네가 as well instead of, but in this case it was spelt 네가, mm. right? So definitely you. Right. So 때 is also used in 때창, you know, 때창. When you're all singing together at a in concert. In groups, right. So here as well, 때 mean um, in groups oh, or like, a, like in a bulk. Lot of, oh, a in lot of. A lot of. So ah. that's why 때 돈 means a bulk of money. 때 돈. Mm-hmm. That's tough because it's a double digit in 때, but then a single digit in 돈. Mm. Dawn, so 때 돈. 때 돈. Right. It can be confusing, but 때 돈, 때 돈. 때 돈. 때 돈. Not 때 돈. Not okay. 때 돈, but 때 돈. 때 돈을 벌지. And here as well, I, I really like how Hartley um, did a great job in trying to pronounce every single word. Mm-hmm. But in order to be a little more, sound more natural, you don't really, you don't need to pronounce 을 um, too strongly. Uh-huh. So 때 돈을 벌지, not 때 돈을 벌지. 때 돈을 벌지. Again, it's kind of getting almost lost in there. There's no real meaning to it. It's just a particle marker, I think, mm-hmm. is what you call them. Which is another confusing one. The T sound and the sang digit. So, tedon versus what it should be? Tedon. Te. Tedon. Tedon. Te. Te. All right, so practice saying the exfoliated skin cells. Te. 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 It sounds the same. Okay, and then just put a ton for money after that, right? Mm-hmm. And polji, that comes from the verb polda. Right, 벌다 means to. So when you just think of uh, 벌다, we say when we are when we say we earn money, we yeah. say 돈을 벌다. 돈을 That's the 벌다. verb that we use for earning money. Mm. Like we don't we say make money or earn money. We don't say 돈을 만들다. Yeah, no. <laughs> right. So 돈 uh, I mean 돈을 벌다. So in this case, he's saying. Because he's talking about playing the song all day because then you get royalties and you can get lots of money in bulk. Mm-hmm. That's what you've got to do, right? Clever idea. Uh, thank you all for your interaction today and your listenership. And we'll see you, Sohyun, next week. See you next week. Bye-bye. You can listen to Welcome to Korea with Korean on me on Arirang Radio's Hashtag Daily K every Tuesday from 10am KST.